Hello guys, welcome back to Chrono Cross. Quick reminder of where we were at the end of the last video, just in case it's been a few days since you played. So we just went into um, this place here, Hermit's Hideaway. We got the Energizer suit and another item, but we also got a key item, which was um, the Garay keepsake, this one here. So first, we're gonna head over here, let me get them cheats on. I've not played for a few days either, don't worry, you're not the only one. Um, yeah, yeah, I have to remember the buttons. Okay, so um, yeah, Isle of the Dam to the right. This little pink island, the one at the top northeast. Yeah, once you come in here, um, head to the top, no wrong way. Follow it around and we want to engage this sort of wisp enemy at the back here. So you have to turn off random encounters, there you go. And what happens with these enemies in this, um, in this island, when you defeat them, uh, next to a sort of close door um, their sort of spirit is absorbed by the door and it like unlocks it I'm not sure exactly how it works but yeah you kill these enemies near certain environmental objects and it sort of activates it so this is the first one but luckily this one is right beside the door so you kill it and you see it make it'll make a door open up there you go and then go head inside there and it probably just burns some more actually. Yeah, then you're gonna to wanna to come in here beneath the um, bones. You'll end up in this door, come to a sort of mirror, and here you wanna use a Gary keepsake. So yes, yeah, that one there, and then that will let you go through the mirror. Now once through the mirror, you wanna get this wisp's attention. So make sure you turn on turn on random battle so you don't engage in battle, and you wanna lure it down here. And no wrong way. Lure it all the way to the bottom here, and you see this suit of armor. Once you get here, turn off random battles and beat the wisp and when you beat the wisp it will activate the suit of armor and then there'll be another battle against the white knight and the white knight is a unique enemy this is the only place you face it but if you let sprig get the final hit on it it will become a one of his doppel doppelgang enemies and it's a very very strong enemy at this point in the game a summon for uh, for sprig but another good thing about it is it drops a golden tiara and that item sells for 75,000. So if you ever find yourself short on gold for any reason, you can sell the golden tiara and you'll get 75,000 for it. So yeah, we just killed it near the suit of armor, so that should activate it. There you go, we're gonna engage that in battle. This is kind of optional, but we're doing it anyway. So like I say, just keep attacking it guys. And this enemy, it has about 800 HP. Yeah, it's between 750 and 800. So just keep attacking him. And then once he sort of goes into a weakened state, yeah, once he goes into a weakened state, just carefully attack him with Sprig after that, with everybody else just defend. Because you want to get the finishing blow with Sprig. Otherwise, it will not become a unlockable tech with him. Yeah, so just go through it, guys. Once a boss gets weakened, only attack with Sprig after that. And it has to be with Sprig in its normal state. If you've sort of morphed into another summon, it won't work. You have to be Sprig as normal. So do that guys, kill the White Knight as Sprig, and I'll see you afterwards. Wow, finally. Yeah, so uh, one thing I will say with him, if you don't kill it quick enough, it will do like a, a physical negate, a negate tech where it will nullify physical attacks. So the problem is when that happens, it means obviously if you attack it in physical attacks, they'll do no damage. So you, you can't use Sprig to kill it and get a summon. But it will wear off eventually. So if it keeps doing that, just keep pressing defend with um, Harley and Lynx and attacking as normal with Sprig. Um, if he's already in this weakened state, just keep doing that and eventually it will wear off and then Sprig can attack it again. All right, so yeah, you'll get the golden tiara, and now the white knight should be a um, summon for Sprig. So we're going to come in here next, and it's going to be a little boss fight now. So yeah, let's get through this dialogue. Yeah, that that white knight will really come. It will really come in helpful later. I know it just wastes a little bit of time getting it now, just because you have to um, bring its health down with Sprig. But yeah, it will definitely you will definitely get out of time back just from using that summon. Um, okay, so we've got another battle here. 
yep, you'll receive the en Enlizer weapon after this battle. Uh, but I'll just show you what the um, that summon is like with Sprig. So if I come into Sprig first, Element, Doppelgang. And it should be down in that. Yeah, there we go, White Knight. And you'll just see how much damage it does. It's mad. Yeah, so in a second, I'll get back to um, Sprig. So Harley's doing 20. Uh, Lynx has currently got the highest upgrade weapon we can have at this point in the game. He does about, what, 80? And look how much White Knight does. Wow, 300, 400. Look at that. Yeah, very good to get him this early on in the game. It will save the time it took to get him. You will make that time back. All right, guys, so get through this battle, and uh, I'll see you afterwards. Yep, and he is toast. Yeah, you get a weapon here, and um, yeah, this sort is sort of story related. Uh, and you should be level 24 now as well. Uh, yep, 24 out of 99. You'll get the Enza. You may get a Dragon's Honor as well after that battle. Okay, let's get through this dialogue. We're going to leave the island now. So um, leave the island and get back to your boat. So just back the way. Yep, back in this bottom left door. Whenever you come across the mirrors, by the way, you have to use the Garay keepsake to get through them. We do have to come back here later uh, with somebody else. All right, so yeah, just back up here and uh, back down to the world map. All right, guys, so um, yeah, we're back on the world map now. So um, yeah, get back in your ship. And we're going to come all the way back down here now and go into Death's Door. Now we've got the Enlanza, we can get through here. So let's come up, there'll be some more dialogue, little cutscene. And should be able, be able to pass on straight through now. So yeah, just get through dialogue radius. And uh, take the top exit. And then we're going to go into the highway ruins. South, which is to the right. Uh, once you get back on your boat. Yeah, uh, well, we're running across the frozen water or whatever. The Dead Sea. So yeah, come in here and just go straight up. Take this top path up the steps. And over here, and there'll be a battle with... What, what have I got his name at? The Highwayman. Yeah, so kill this punk, and you'll get a level up, and I'll join you after the battle. Remember, for Sprig, you can summon his doppelgang guys to make the fight go much quicker. Here's a White Knight. Yeah, once you killed him, you should get you should be level 25 now. And at level 25, Harley learn, learns a new tech, and you have to use this tech in a battle in order to get a trophy. So yeah, level 25. And Harley should have learned her new tech now. So just make sure it's equipped. Come into your menu, elements, allocate, go into Harley, and just make sure she's got it equipped. Um, she should have. Um, yeah, this menu is a little bit confusing. Um, Moonbeams should be a level 7 tech yeah so there we go you should have got that tech now Lunar Red Tech level 7 you learn that at level 25 so we're going to use that in the next battle and as you can see she already had it equipped so yeah just go in the top exit now back to the world map and then go left down uh, sorry no keep going left and come into city ruins north now here come down slightly and take this path on the right here uh, come into this building and just press X in here. Oh, oh it's a bit quick there, but you come in here and press X and you'll find the Kung Fu shoes just inside in the chest. Kung Fu shoes. And this chest over here has a resistance belt in it. Come down and left and go into sort of tower and you can enter it where, the, where there's a light in the window. And there's a sort of hidden chest on the left just over here and that's got the earring off light in it. Now we're going to be dis disassembling that for later, I think, if I remember correctly. So yeah, definitely need that. Come down here, um, all the way down to the bottom, and there's one more chest we're going to grab before we leave, and that's this chest over here. There you go, stamina ring, and then take the bottom exit. So what, four, four chests in there we looted, and then once you're in here, guys, go into the Tower of Geddon. Yeah, so get through this dialogue. 
and um, it's not much then head forward come up the stairs to sort of middle floor here and then go yeah west yeah sorry the west path and follow it around to find a feather in that chest yep that feather there and then come back and next we are sorry i'm just checking yeah, top right, and you'll find a chest over here with a mithril. There we go. And then come all the way to the left, and there'll be a little button just here. Press that and send it to the first floor. Yeah, send it to the first floor. And then we can come down and get that chest. Come around here to where that lift we just sent down. And you'll find a trashy tiara. Well, it's got a trashy tiara. Come all the way to the top and take the exit on the left. And now come down here, you'll get a little bit of dialogue. And once you've got that dialogue, yeah, just get through that. And once you've got that, you're going to come up this path and follow it around to get a feather. Yep, yeah, feather just there in that chest. Once you've got that, come up. Um, no, I'm not going to get there. It's a big, bloody, broken satellite dish in the way or something yeah you want to enter this doorway here just below the grass then once you get through here come up to this turbine um, in the center you get a bit, a little bit of dialogue again and then after this dialogue you want to go up and into a portal so yeah come into this room and then carry on up and um, into a portal Yeah, there we go. Going to send you to another dimension. Yeah, it's a safe point there if you want to save. No critical saves still. Um, but first you want to come here, go right, and you want to get this, um, get the screwy dress at the top right chest. And then come around the opposite side and uh, take a top exit. It's going to be a little boss fight up here in a second. So um, I'll just get you started and then I'll leave it all to you. Yeah, so you come up here and talk to this guy in blue sat on sat on the um, sort of a monument near the bell. That's it. Get through this dialogue, guys, and then you're going to beat him in battle. And then once you beat him in battle, I will see you again. Finally, you wouldn't show up, would he? Um, yeah, so um, once again, battle, guys, just remember. Yeah, I was going to summon White Knight. We want to use Harley's level 7 tech. I'm just going to use that with you and uh, leave you to it. Right, so Harley, once he's done the Annie Black, yeah, so Element, that's it, you use this one, and you should get a trophy. There you go, Lunacy. So just use that tech, and you get a trophy, guys, and then just resume kicking his ass. Yep, we've got him. Should get a level up from that, yeah, level 26 now. And yeah, get through this, all this dialogue, guys. And um, I'll see you back on the world map. Okay, we've got control back. So I'm going to come into a boat. And think, one thing we're going to do first, because there's some new weapons to um, forge now. We're going to come into our smith spirit. And we're going to disassemble. Uh, what is it? Yes, armor. We're going to disassemble the scaly dress. Uh, because that's going to give us some of the items we need. As you see, we get bone, iron, scale and fur from that. So yeah, disassemble the scaly dress. And then also come into accessories and you want to disassemble the earring of flight. That's a accessory we've just got. Um, if you remember, I did mention something about disassembling it. Yeah, so earring of light. Great thing about this one, it gives you a denodorite. And normally you can't normally get them this early without obviously going and farming enemies. So yeah, disassemble that, you'll get one of them. And then come into forge weapons and you want to craft the stone swallow. As you can see, you need denodorite, humor feather and scale yeah so craft that guy stone swallow that's it and then put the get links to um, swallow a stone put that on him yeah give him more damage uh, give him more DPS now yep yeah, there we go lob the stone swallow on side uh, it's not not sides links yeah now we're going to come into here El Nido triangle yeah so just to the west and then choose go to center and choose to go in 
Alright, so um, what you're in here, loot this top right chest for a mithril. Um, for a little fish let you buy. Yeah, mithril in that chest. And then come down this, uh, this ladder here. Okay, then we're going to follow the path to the right and loot this chest in the middle for a star fragment. Yep, star fragment. That's very, very important. Sort of like a, sort of like a key item, I guess. Yeah, grab that and then come back up. Going to go back to the world map now. Yeah, we're going to head into Sky Dragon Isle next. We'll be coming in quite a bit later on Sky Dragon. It's a claw-shaped island. Uh, to the northwest, this one. Yeah, so come and score uh, Sky Dragon Isle. Come all the way left and then go up the steps to the third screen. That's screen one. This is screen two, and this one is screen three. Now open the chest in the middle, and because we've got a star fragment, uh, actually engage in battle. If you do not have that star fragment, which you just got, this doesn't happen. So we open the chest. This huge alien will come and ambush you. And now we're going to beat him. So summon a white knight like normal guys. Beat him up. And I'll see you after you've showed him what we like here in the UK. Yep, and he's toast. Yep, if aliens ever attack the net, they're going to avoid the UK. Definitely. Yeah, so once you beat him. Uh, now you got to chase little baby Starkey around and catch him. Catch him, that little rascal. That's it. Once you catch him, Starkey, uh, he'll join your party. Yeah, there we go. Starkey joined your party. Now, that should be character 22 out of 44. So, we are halfway with all the characters. Okay, and then you want to exit the screen and then go back in. And that NPC will be back in green, this guy. Talk to him and he'll give you a new uh, frame called our favourite Martian. Yep, there we go. So that's frame number 11 out of 15. Make sure you've got that. Alright, once you've got it, back to your ship. And I'm going to set sail for um, Opasa Beach. Yep. So back over to Arnie Village, going to dock here, and we're going to head west into um, a pass beach, and we're going to use the actual amulet now to go back to another world. Yeah, so come over here. There we go. Yeah, it should be working now. Yeah, so actual amulet. Yay, victory! It's working. Now I can go back to another world. Yeah, now we're going to go right, and your friends are here. Run along. Oh, this boy's in a bit of a pickle. Don't worry, I can tell him to go away. I'm gonna stay alive, stay with me. Yeah, he's safe now. Yeah, once that boy is safe. Yeah, I've done a bit. We've done a bit of a community for the day. Yeah, you wanna come to world map, and we're going to go in Fossil Valley. Uh, yeah, here up here. So come into Fossil Valley. Yeah, don't think we have our ship yet. And come in here and you want to take a far left exit. And we're going to go into Terminer. The top left over here. Yes, yeah, so the Terminer next. And we're going to go up the stairs and into the bar on the left. This is the bar. No, we're not going to drink, unfortunately. If any of you were getting excited. Started dribbling at the mouth, I know you were. No, we don't have time for that. Instead, we're going to come in here and interact with the wall at the back left secret door and then head right to get some dialogue with Karsh and Zoa now at the end of this dialogue you're going to get a, a choice you want you can choose who you want to take with you to begin with you will get the other one later but we're going to take Karsh first so I'm going to get through this dialogue guys and then when we get the option we're going to pick Karsh so yeah just go through this dialogue a little bit slowly in fact we're about there now actually so um I'll stick with you for a second yeah, so in this, any second now, yeah, you'll get a tear of hate. And yeah, you want to pick Karsh. And he'll join your party. That's it. I bloody hate that tear. Yeah, once you've done that, come outside. And we're going to go back to the world map now. 
Yeah, so that's party member 23 out of 44. We are past halfway. What's going on down here? Oh, hello, nice, Norman. All right, guess we've got to go to Viper Manor then. Yeah, so out the, um, I think that's all we do there. Yeah, that's all we do. So outside and to Viper Manor. Talk to the guards to open the gate. Yep, let me go. I am Sir Lynx. Yeah, then come right. And then talk to the guards in the front entrance. And then they'll move and let you pass. Because I am royalty. Okay, so once you're here. Yeah, get through this dialogue, guys. And um, I'll pick it up in a second. I'll just skip. I think this goes on for about a minute. Right, so once you get control back, you're going to come into this door on the left. And then you're going to enter the second door, this one here. And you'll find Norris. He's um, got his hand down his trousers. I uh, caught you in the act. Yeah, talk to him and he'll give you the prison key. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's so sticky. Don't know why. Yeah, right, come out here. And uh, we're going to go left next. Oh, yeah, get dialogue with the um, chef. So go left one screen. And then interact with this. I think that's the one. Yeah, interact with the grate on the floor and choose yes. Okay, once you get in here, we're just going to go into the water and it's going to wash us away. And then once you get here, we're going to come up here and we're going to come all the way to the right here. And we're going to push that barrel, interact with that barrel to push it or just run into it pretty much and you'll push it like so. And then we're going to come back into the middle. Up here. You can loot this chest. Um, this chest here for a humour. And then push this barrel down there. There you go. And now you've made a bridge. Once you've made the bridge, come over to the left. Okay, now we're going to come over to this valve and we're going to tighten it. That's it. Once you've tightened it, we're going to come back. And they're going to go all the way around now on the outside, anti-clockwise, no wrong way, always go down that steps by mistake. Yeah, so all the way around now anti-clockwise, loot this chest for a denodrite, and then come up the ladder. Upstairs to the next screen, I'm going to go through the door on the right, and um, this one just here. Come on, yep. And then what you're going to do is enter this last door on the right. Yeah, enter this door here. Okay, loot this chest here for a copper helmet, which we're never going to use. And then push these. In fact, sorry, take the Decker shield first. Yeah, so take the Decker shield. Take it. No, it's not dangerous at all. Take the Decker shield from the wall. Yeah, once you've got a statue, guys, come over. Uh, sorry, that Decker shield. Come over to this suit of armor which is missing the shield and come into your items and you want to use it so use the decker shield and that will engage in the battle now just defeat these five enemies okay so just beat them after you beat them guys interact with this pillar on the top left and you'll find a little secret button and there's a switch yeah push it once you push that now what we're going to do is push a snake statue all the way over there into that little slot opposite sort of adjutant to the other snake statue there you go that should reveal a hidden path and now we've hit that switch we can actually get to these two chests you'll find the viper's venom and you also find the rainbow shell once you've got them back outside and we're gonna go th get a save point just in case you want to um, it's in here third door the last door before the steps it's a save point so yeah, come and save your game if you want to. There you go. I just touched it to create an auto save. And then we're going to take this middle door into the kitchen. And then going to interact with the grate at the top left. No, top left. And choose to go down. 
Okay, and then when you go to this water, be careful, she's going to be pushing you down. You see it pushing me down, and you want to enter the second passage on the right. So, this one here. Yeah, enter that passage. Come all the way to the right here, down the bridge, over the bridge and down the steps, and then take this path on the top right. And then carry on along to the end, and interact with this valve, and you want to tighten it. Yeah, and it will move that sort of... Um, that sort of dam to the bottom there. Once you tighten it, come back down here. Uh, sorry, you want to go underneath the bridge. Yeah, underneath that bridge. Come over to this valve and just press on it and it will open that door just to the south. And then take this bottom path and come into the water. And it will wash, well not wash, but come down here next. Now careful here because the water will be washing you away and you want to come up these steps. Yeah, come up the steps all the way along here. Down here and then up these steps interact with this and then you want to choose to open it yeah so choose to open it and now come over here and there's going to be a boss fight there we go so beat this boss guys the his name is the um roach yeah roach chester yeah so beat him and i'll ca uh, catch you afterwards yeah so once you uh, exterminate that pest you should be level 27 yeah, so after it, come up this ladder and then take the first ladder off them three. You come up into the cell, Fargo cell underneath his bed. Yeah, give him a bit of a rude awakening there. Yeah, but then after the dialogue. Yeah, just come out cell door. And um, enter the room on the right. Yeah, you find Riddell. Yeah, we're going to rescue her now. Yeah, we got this punk house cook. Yeah, so just ask normal guys. Summon a white knight and just defeat him with um, physical attacks. If you're using the cheats. Yeah, once you beat him, you should be, um, yeah, level 28 after that one. Yeah, level 28, guys, after that. So, um, get through a dialogue. And, um, Orchard will join your party after the battle. You should be, um, he should be character number 24 out of 44. That's, um, Orchard. Yeah, so afterwards, you're going to spawn here. Yes, yeah, so get through that initial dialogue. And then them two will leave, and then and then continue north, and come up here, and there'll be another little battle. Yes, yeah, so the first you're gonna have to defeat three poor privates. That's poor P O R R E. And then after you beat these, you're gonna have to fight Grobic. Yes, yeah, so beat these guys, and then beat Grobic, and I see you after the Grobic battle. So eventually you should beat him up. Yeah, Grobic. He should be dead any second now. Is that it? No, I thought that's gonna be it then. I thought um White Knight was gonna get the finishing blow. Perhaps Harley? Probably not, because she Oh she did, wow, I was gonna say I thought she was gonna tickle him. Yeah, so Harley finished him, Grobic. And then um, you'll get a level up after that. Level 29. Um but now there's gonna be another battle with this big sort of mech warrior. Uh, but you actually have to fight this twice. You'll fight it once. Um, it doesn't have much HP, by the way. And they'll chase you into the library. And then you have to fight it again. So you beat this guy up twice, this robot. And um, I'll see you after the battles. There we go. We've got it. <laughs> yeah, we've got that um, Matt robot finally. Yeah, so after that, Grobic should join your party. Uh, you'll climb this ladder. Yeah, you have to climb this ladder. You have to do that yourself. You have to take control of the situation and climb the ladder. Fortunately, this thing's too heavy to climb ladders. Guess they've got to think about that when they're um, designing it. Yeah, so he'll try to jump on the chandelier. It will break. 
and then you'll just jump out the stained glass window. And you're landing here in a pile of um, beast droppings. Yeah, you burst out the tent. And yeah, there'll be a stampede. Run, you're free. You're free. Run alive. Run away and have a little life together. See you in Fossil Valley, I guess. Yeah, Gobbik will join you now. Um, look at him. He's got his face mask on. He's prepared. Yeah, confirm. And he should be character number 25 out of 44. So yeah, he'll join you. And the next, the next step, guys, is to go into the Isle of the Dam. So come into your boat. Um, we also want to make sure Kash is in our party. Very, very important. So come into your um, teleporter and teleport Harley out of your party in place of Kash. So we want Lynx, Sprig, and Kash. All right. And the uh, next step is to head all the way back into the Isle of the Dams. Yeah, what we're going to do now, um, so come in here. We're going to come up and to this cave in the top left, just over here, and press X, and you should find the mixed bones. Yeah, you find the mixture of bones. Pick them up. That's for good old Skelly. We'll have him back up to his former self in no time. Now we're going to head back to where we fought the boss, if you remember. So up here. Take a left at this path directly on the left of it, through the bones, up here. Use the Gary keepsake to get through the mirror, um, this one here. Go through it, and then enter that big doorway in the center again. That's it, now Kaj is in your party, and you're in another world. Come up here, and you got to fight these ponks, Salt and Pepper. They still haven't learned this lesson. you got to give it to them though. They're not giving up. Yep, so get through all this dialogue, guys, and then beat Salt and Pepper. Yep, so after you've beat Salt and Pepper, the item we want to get is the Memento Pendant. Yeah, you, you get a few other things, but a key one we need, yeah, that's a uh, tech which Kars just learnt. Yeah, you should get the Memento Pendant. We need it for a sort of optional battle, but it's related to trophies. Yeah, so Memento Pendant, that's what we needed. All right, so um, after that, we're just gonna head back to the world map now, and we're just gonna do one more thing, guys, and um, that'll be it for this video. We're actually gonna make a critical save as well in a second. Um, if I can get moving. Yeah, so back to the world map. Uh, you should know the way to go by now. You're actually gonna leave Harley. The reason we're making a critical save here at this specific spot is because um, it's needed for an ending. You have to complete the game. I know you're probably thinking how do you complete the game here? It will all make sense later but pretty much we need a save here to get a special ending. Yeah so um, right now we're going to make that critical save. So bring up your menu, save and remember go into my save slot, slot 2. You should have two saves there at the moment. That one and that one. And now you're gonna make critical save number three in slot number two. Remember, never touch them saves in slot two. Only use slot one yourself and slot two is for me. So yeah, critical save in slot two. That's save number three. Make sure you're doing that guys, very, very important. And then come into the Dead Sea route. Um, oh no, sorry, we're going, yeah. We're going into Hermit's Hideaway first. Um, that's just up here. Yeah, this is where we have to go anyway. Yeah, so come into the burned out Hermit's Hideaway. Come up to this little patch and you'll get some dialogue. You see that little gray patch in the grass? You get that dialogue. The ground here is hot. Vegetation won't be able to grow here. Yeah, so once you get that prompt, that notification, you want to stop where you are and you want to use the, um, get the name now, uh, Ice Breath. Yeah, use your Ice Breath and then you should get this notification. The ground has cooled down vegetation can grow here again and what we'll be doing later on we'll be coming back here in the homeworld 
but that's all we want to do here in another world so make sure you use ice breath on this little gray patch and you get that message that confirms that you did it correctly and we can do the next step which like I say is later so once you've done that guys you're going to continue upwards and into the hallowed tree burnt out tree here after radius has finished chatting yep leave gramps alone and come in here and talk to riddle you find out she's got restraining order in cash and she wants him to leave right now yeah riddle will join your party confirm and then choose yet yeah. she'll ask you if you want to rest choose yes yep and this is where we lose well not quite yet Um, but yeah we'll lose Harley very soon so after that yeah be a bit of a ruckus going on outside yeah we should resume control on the SS Invincible yeah, Polly. Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on and we all had tea. No, she didn't. She's just a bird. Yeah, so um, get through all this dialogue, guys, and I'll see you afterwards. Oh, my God. Who am I? I'm so confused right now. Yeah, so once get control back after that cutscene, uh, continue right, guys, and go into the interior of the ship. And then go left, and you'll have about 55 uh, new characters join you now. Alright, so we're going to get Viper first. Yeah, confirm. That should be um, 27 out of 44. That's Viper. Then we've got Cargo. Yep, confirm. That should be 28 out of 44. And do you want one more character? Yeah, why not? Yeah, then we're going to have Marcy. Yeah, 29 out of 44. Let's get... You know what? Let's get another one. Zoa, come and join us. Yep, confirm. Oh, shit. Yeah, default name. Confirm, that's 30 out of 44. We only have 14 characters left to get. Um, yeah. After that, you'll come into Death's Door. Automatically, it's out of your control. And then go up and talk to Harley. Harley Quinn. And she'll leave you party. Yep, there we go. And um, yeah, there will be some dialogue options here. Just choose any dialogue. Yeah, just choose any dialogue, guys, for these options. And um, I'll see you back on the world map after all the text. Oh, we're here already. That's quick. All right, yeah, so that's it, guys, um, for the rest of the video. Uh, so I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.